Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this video 8 of new DSP tutorials we will be seeing about choice router and flow reference and we will be doing a demo to show you how it works. So let me launch AnyPoint Studio. Okay. So I have created a flow by the name choice. So in the choice I have an uh, HTTP input and if we go there it is hosted on localhost port number 8081 and uh, the path is choice and next to that you have a session variable so in the session variable I am uh, getting the value of the method that I will be using to hit this service okay so we have different HTTP methods we have got get put post so whatever method that we are going to use to hit this service will be stored in this session variable okay next we have got a logger which will display the method that we have used okay so if you see over here the session variable name is actually method and in this logger we have got sessions dot method so this will display the method that has been used okay next we have called the route choice router so if you type choice you can get this just drag and drop and here depending upon any condition you can route it to a different flow or you can have your own flow inside this choice router itself or you can have this choice router reference to your flow reference and you have a can have a separate flow as well okay i'll show you how that is done so if you see here so we are using mule expression language when the session variable dot method so if i use get as a method and if it is equal to get then it will go to the logger called get logger so if you go to the get logger you can see i have displayed a message the method used is get Similarly, when uh, the method is put, it is routed to put logger and if you go to put logger, you can see the method used is put. So we have another one called default. So every choice will have a default uh, to which it should be routed. So if you don't have any other value other than the one specified in this choice conditions, so if it is other than these two, so it will be routed to this particular logger okay so we go to this logger we have merged the message as the method is something other than get input okay so next uh, uh, we will uh, uh, set the payload so so the payload is set as the session variable dot method so whatever we have set over here and it will return it to the HTTP method okay now uh, let's do a demo so I'll use postman plugin so so it is hosted on localhost on port 8081 and the path is choice so let me first use get method and I send it so I get a response as git now let us go to the console if you see so this logger will provide you the session variable name so that does session variable is nothing other than it captures the method over here okay so it is displayed as get over here so as our condition is get and as it is get it is routed to this get logger so we go to get logger the message would be the method used is get so that is what we have got in the console over here the method used is get now let us try post sorry put put you get the response as put and you go here you can see the method used is put now let us use any other method other than put and get let us use the delete okay you get a response over here as delete so 
here you can see that the message display is the condition is something other than get and put because in this cho choice router we have only specified the condition for get and put for if that is going to be anything else other than get and put it is routed to this particular logger and this logger has this message okay so this is how it works now uh, <coughs> yeah, if you think the flow is going to be a bigger one based upon the choice you can have a flow reference over here and route it to there so before having a flow reference let's create another flow okay and i'll call this flow as get logger okay and then have another flow as well i'll call this as put logger it's just the same but i am just ref referring this to another flow that's it i mean nothing new over here okay so now let us have two logger components over here one over here another over here and over here we can have the message this is put method over here this is get method okay. now we can delete the things over here and we can have flow reference flow reference is like a mapping of flows only so <coughs> instead of actually i have just provided a single node over here so based upon in some requirement based upon some condition you need to do a lot of computations so when you keep it over here it makes a flow look complex or if you think that this particular piece of flow will can be reused then this would be the best way to do this okay so in this flow reference okay i'll make this as get flow reference okay so that we know this and now you need to select the flow to which it's uh, you select it to get logger i have another flow reference okay and i will remove put logger and now automatically it has changed okay fine okay now i save it okay so it's getting deployed <coughs> so it's ready now now let us again post a message or let us post a get let's get and you see mm -hmm. something is missing from over here Not sure what went wrong over there. Let's try put. Okay, put. Go to cancel. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Now, as we have changed these things, so uh, the values over here is also needs to be updated. So that's why it was not routing properly. Now let us give session dot method equal to equal to put in capitals. That's how it recognizes. So I'm not giving a get because that does the same thing. So okay. got deployed. Now let us see get get. Okay, now you can see this is put method. So now it was routed to this flow reference, and this flow reference was pointing to over here, and it displayed the message which we had it in this logger. So that's all for this session. So we can see about a different topic in my next session. Thanks for watching this video.